Hey friends, how are you all? Welcome to the fifth tutorial from biology section of AIPMT 2009 question paper. So here I am hoping that you all are working hard to achieve your goal and to score high in NEET. You know, Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam says that you should always dream high. And so you should set a high target and try your best to achieve that. So I hope you all are doing it to so set the maximum target you can achieve and do your best to achieve that target. And these questions, my friends, will help you practice more for your exam and score more as well. So we won't waste any more time and we will start with question number 51. So the question number 51 is, a young infant may be feeding entirely on mother's milk, which is white in color obviously but the stools which the infant passes out is quite yellowish what is this yellow color due to so please do get guess the answer correctly so friends the right answer for this question is option number three that is bile pigments passed through the bile juice makes the stool yellow in color here in the diagram you can see this is the gallbladder and through the cystic duct it passes the bile juice into the duodenum part of small intestine and this is where the digested uh, milk that is there it converts yellowish in color and resulting into the yellow color of the stool. So I hope this point is clear to you. Now we are moving on to the next question that is question number 52 which is Globulins contained in human blood plasma are primarily involved in which of the following? It's a very easy question. I hope you answer it correctly. So friends, the right answer is option number two. The globulins or the immunoglobulins are involved in the defense mechanism of the bodies. And these immunoglobulins are also called as antibodies which are of five types which are IgG. IgA, IgM, IgD and IgE depending upon their functions and their structure. So I hope this point is clear to you. Now the next question which is question number 53 is Seminal plasma in humans is rich in which of the following? So friends the right answer is option number 3. The seminal plasma is rich in fructose, calcium and certain enzymes. Actually fructose gives, them, gives the sperms proper nutrition to remain alive. Calcium helps them remain inactive and the enzymes which are present in seminal plasma helps them in breaking down the oval, ova's membrane and fertilizing it. So I hope these points are clear to you. If you have any doubt, you can ask me in the comment section. And now the next question, it's a very easy question. Given below is a diagrammatic sketch for a portion of human male reproductive system. Select the correct set of the names of the parts labeled A, B, C and D. So guys, the right answer is option number 3. This A part is vast difference. And B is seminal, vas seminal vesicle, C is your prostate gland and D is bulbourethral gland. And remember the structure of male and female reproductive tract is very very important. So please do go through it. Now we are coming to the next question that is which one of the following is the correct matching of three items and their grouping category. I hope you answer it correctly. Here guys the right answer is option number 3. That is ileum, ischium and pubis are the coxal bones of pelvic girdle. Here you can see the diagram of pelvic girdle. This is the sacrum, the ileum part, the pubic bone, the coccyx and the ischium. So the main three bones ileum, pubis and ischium. Actually at birth these three bones are separate but as the, uh, as the infant grows up these three bones get fused and hence the structure. I hope this point is clear to you. Now question number 56. 
which one of the following statement is true regarding digestion and absorption of food in humans again a very easy question so guys the right answer is option number 3 that is fructose and amino acids are absorbed through intestinal mucosa with the help of carrier ions like sodium plus and why the rest three options are incorrect the first option that is about 60% of starch is hydrolyzed by salivary amylase in our mouth is the wrong option only 10 to 20 Hardly 20% starch is digested in mouth. Rest all is digested in the small intestine. The second option that is oxidative cells in our stomach secrete the proenzyme pepsinogen is totally wrong. Oxygenic cells or the parietal cells secrete HCl and some intrinsic factors. The factors which are essential for the absorption of vitamin B12. The rest two types of cells that are mucus neck cells they secrete mucus they are also known as the goblet cells and the peptic cells or chief cells they secrete proenzyme pepsinogen and hence this option is wrong chylomicrons are small lipoprotein particles that are transported from intestine into blood capillaries no they are not lipoproteins they are fat globules now we are moving on to the next question that is question number 57 So which one of the following correctly described the location of some body parts in the earthworm ferritima Once again I'm saying you this earthworm and frog has been included in the neat syllabus once again so please do not skip them and read them carefully This time in NEET 2017 two questions were asked from frog And guys from the structure the right answer is option number 2 Here you can see two pairs of testes, one in the tenth segment and one in the eleventh segment are present. So please go through all the diagrams; they are very very important. Now, question number fifty-eight: Elbow joint is an example of which type of joint? Friends, the right answer is option number three. Elbow joint is a type of hinge joint. Here you can see all the types of joint. Actually, in hinge joint, what happens is the part can be moved in one plane only like your forearm and arm for example can move in one plane only and not in the other plane and there are other types of joints too for example pivot joint which is present in your neck region the ball and socket joint present in the humerus and this uh, between the humerus and the scapula the and again it is present between between the femurs femur and the pelvic girdle the saddle joint which is present between the thumb and the metacarpal the conoid joint which is present between the phalanges of the hand the gliding joint which is present between the carpals and again okay this is over now we are moving on to the next question that is question number 59 So which one of the following is considered important in the development of seed habit It's a very easy question you can easily guess it Friends the right answer is heterospore Thus that is when the formation of heterospores that is megaspores and microspores started from there the development of seed habit is considered to start start So how we can relate these both actually in lower plants if you see for example in ferns this heterospores for example megaspores and microspores are present but as we gradually move towards the higher plants these microspores are turned into pollen grains and the megaspore is turned into egg and when the pollen grain fertilizes the egg cell formation of seed takes place and hence the answer Now the right on question number 60 one of the synthetic auxine is which of the following again a very important point which has been taken directly from ncert guys the right answer is option number 2 2 naa or the naphthalene acetic acid is the type of synthetic auxine now you would wonder why the rest three are not the answer 
IBA which is the indole 3 butyric acid is actually both synthetic as well as natural type of auxin and IAA which is the indole acetic acid is a type of natural auxin which is isolated from the human urine. GAA is nowhere related to auxin, it's gibberellic acid. So friends, this is where the tutorial ends. I hope you enjoyed it and I just hope most of your answers were right. And if they were not, please read the books, read your books carefully and revise all the notes that you have made. And I'm sure next time you will improve. Please don't get disheartened if your answer is wrong. You can improve yourself. There is always a scope for improvement. So just keep working hard and all the best for that. Good luck. Bye-bye.